lot like the sword video, uh, not sword, fuck. A lot like the scythe video, I'm gonna make a guide on all the weapons, uh, and they're all just gonna be titled like secrets of, and then whatever the weapon is. So this video uh, is the sword, secrets of sword, and uh, it's basically a complete guide. Uh, fully broken down what you should be doing with the weapon, what, uh, what you shouldn't be doing, uh, how to kill with the weapon, all of its combos, uh, all of its tools, uh, frames, all that stuff. And um, most of this is not character specific. Um, Bodvar has only six decks. Um, and I don't believe Sword needs decks, so most of these combos are going to be able to work for uh, almost any Sword character. But, anyways, this is going to be the secrets of sword unlocked. To start off, I'm just going to go over through every single move that the sword has basically on its kit. Uh, not any sigs, not going to be going over anything sig related. So this is for every sword character, just the universal moves that sword has. Neutralite uh, has six frame startup, which like I said is the fastest in the game. Uh, it's a really good denying tool because you can use it as a wake up in certain situations because it's so fast so if, if I'm hit and they're uh, in range for me to do a, a wake up and what a wake up is you do a, a gravity cancel attack right after you get hit like that I didn't land the hit obviously but that's what a wake up is so because sword is so quick it's really good for wake ups because uh, most of its moves uh, have pretty low startup frames Neutralite in itself can hit stacked, meaning that if somebody's right on top of me, heat in the moment, I can throw out a Neutralite and it's going to hit. Uh, it can hit a little bit behind, a little bit as you can see, uh, looking at the yellow stacked. Uh, he's a little bit behind me, and this can still hit. So this is a very good stacked option, because it hits both forward and behind. It has some decent range hitting out in front of it. Uh, not the greatest, but it does have some decent range. It did also have its hitboxes nerfed. As you can see, the white line goes a lot higher than the actual hitboxes. It used to actually hit a lot higher than what it does now, but they nerfed that in one of the recent patches. It has uh, utility for a 50-50 mix-up off of certain moves. Uh, it's decently fast recovery. Uh, I can move around or jump right after I use it, and it's not really very risky for me to throw it out because I can move almost right after I do it but obviously if the opponent is spaced properly and, and expecting it or if they're behind you it does last a little bit longer than uh, its other moves so you can get punished if your opponent is spaced properly but uh, uh, if they're not expecting it it has some pretty decent recovery frames so you don't have to worry too much about getting punished uh, if they're uh, a good ways away and you're just throwing it out. Side light has 11 frames startup which is pretty quick, especially for a move like this that has pretty good utility. It has a lot of uses. Uh, it's a long range tool to get in or to set stuff up, uh, aka the 50 50. This is your 50 uh, 50 starter, and uh, I'll explain that more in a little bit. But it has a very wide hitbox, as you can see. It completely covers uh, my entire body, both at the end of it and at the start of it. As you can see, I'm almost completely. Uh, protected, meaning that it does hit stacked. Um, not if you're directly on them, it's not going to hit stacked because it, uh, it does move you forward a little bit. But if you're uh, just a little bit uh, in front of them, then it uh, it actually can hit stacked. I'm choking it right now. Yeah, right there. As you can see, it can hit stacked in certain situations, but uh, obviously not in every situation because it does move you forward. Downlight, uh, another one of its fast moves, uh, basic on the kit. Downlight has nine startup frames, which is the same as um, Scythe startup. Uh, Scythe Neutralite has uh, nine startup frames. So it's very quick, especially for a downlight move, uh, considering that there's a uh, Neutralite move in the game that's just as fast. It also uh, hits stacked as well. So not only is it quick, but it can hit stacked. So just like Neutralite, being able to hit stack, this is also a good stacked option. It's also your main combo tool, uh, main combo tool, basically your only combo tool, really, because uh, neutral light can't combo into anything, and side light can't combo into anything, at least uh, into a true combo. Uh, so down light is going to be your main comboing tool. Uh, 
Uh, it also combos into every single one of its aerials. So I can true combo into neutral air, as you can see. True combo into down air. True combo into side air. And true combo into recovery. So as you can see, every single one of its aerials down like can true combo into, so it's a really good combo tool, and it's really good for getting a kill when they're in higher percentages. You can jump and gravity cancel it to stop people from uh, jumping over it. As you can see, it has a very low hitbox, so one of the biggest problems that you can probably already tell is that a lot of people can jump over this, but if you jump and gravity cancel it, uh, that was a little too fast, but if you jump and gravity cancel it, or if you're moving around, and you jump a gravity cancel it, they can't uh, jump over it. So that, that extends the hitbox a little bit upwards, and it gets the same effect because if you gravity cancel it, you can still combo. And it does have uh, pretty fast recovery frames, just like uh, Neutralite, as you can see. I can string these two together really quickly. It does recover pretty quickly. You're not locked into place after you do it, so it's uh, it's got some pretty fast recovery frames. Neutral Air. 15 to 16 frames startup. Uh, I say 15 to 16 because as you can see, uh, it does have this one little hitbox right here towards the left of it, but that's not really going to hit anybody, so technically it's 15. Uh, don't look at the counter up there because I started it a frame late. Technically it's 15 because that's when the first hitbox uh, comes out on the 15th frame, but it really uh, can hit uh, reliably on the 16th frame, so it's, it's around 15 to 16. Uh, it has decently fast recovery frames, like I said, you're not locked into place, and that's kind of the, the theme with Sword. You don't really get locked into place for missing too much, so you can pick up a lot of momentum. Uh, it can be used for sharking as well, and if you don't know what sharking is, that's um, basically keeping the opponent in the air. You might see it a lot with Hammer, or you might know what it is because of Hammer. Uh, but just basically going like this, uh, keeping them in the air or juggling them, that's called sharking. Uh, its main use is when they're on platforms above you, because obviously if they're on a platform it's hard for them to fall down and hit you, but you can easily reach them, so this is a really good tool for sharking people. Uh, not going to be a move that you really see killing, because it won't really kill uh, if you true combo it until probably around like, maybe around like 200 it's going to kill. Yeah, it like just barely killed. Yeah, it didn't even kill at uh, 190. So it's not going to be a, a killing tool, but it can give you a lot of stage control by hitting them up uh, really high. The off stage is good for protecting yourself off stage because you have that uh, big wide hitbox to protect yourself. So if, if someone's uh, right here trying to uh, spike you down or down air you, this can uh, snuff that out and help you get back to the stage uh, by protecting uh, above you. A side air. Uh, has 13 frames startup, has pretty good force, it's one of your main kill tools, and has decently fast recovery frames, and you could also move around with it in the air, just like with the neutral air and the down air and the side air, uh, it doesn't lock you into movement, so I can uh, do a side air and move back, and I can do a neutral air and move around, or I can do a down air and move around. Also, like I said, it's one of your main kill tools, and it's because of that that you're going to want to end your combos with side air mostly to uh, get you that damage build up, and it also has some pretty decent force. Uh, last aerial, or last move in the basic kit is down air, which is the slowest move, or one of the slowest moves technically for sword, even though it's tied with nair. Both of them are technically 16 frames. It's a good spike tool, has a really good angle. It's also uh, able to be comboed off of downlight. Uh, it can cover directly below you, as you can see by this big hitbox. Uh, not as big as the neutral air, but it's still pretty wide and it's uh, directly below you. It has some nice force for uh, spiking as well. Like I said, it has some nice force, so as you can see, knocks him pretty far down. And uh, it also has very low recovery frames, so you can follow up with it a lot easier. Uh, for example, as you can see right there. Uh, because of the low recovery frames, you recover faster than they recover out of stun, and you can follow up your attacks like that. So that's every move that uh, Sword has, and now I'm going to talk about Sword's main neutral game, basically how you want to play the weapon on stage and a, a little bit of off stage. I'm just going to basically describe basically how you play the weapon. The main attacks you want to throw out are neutral light and down light, and that's because neutral light uh, is really quick and so is downlight and like I said sword is incredibly fast so you want to take advantage 
of, of these very fast moves and with the low recovery and you want to throw those out mainly uh, when you're just moving around on the stage. Uh, the reason why I don't say side light um, should be used too much in neutral is because it does commit you to that distance and if you do end up missing uh, even though I didn't miss right there. If you do end up missing, it's going to leave you a little bit open because it does have a little bit more recovery frames than neutral light and down light. So you want to be throwing out neutral light and down light a lot more, especially down light because it's your only combo tool. Neutral light really is just a stacked option to get them off of you. Same thing with down light. Uh, not only is, uh, does it hit stack, but you can also combo it. But uh, neutral light is uh, the faster stacked option. So if you if you want to get that quick, you know, get off me type of attack, neutral light is is the move. It's also very fast. Like I said, it can deny a lot of attacks, so it's good to just throw out like that. But uh, down light is a move you want to throw out just a little bit more because uh, it is your combo tool and it's going to be your main damage builder. Like I said about the side light, how it uh, shouldn't be really thrown out in neutral, it's because it has its own specific purpose. Like I said before, it has some sort of utility. And that's because sword has very low or short range. As you can see, the, the neutral light and the down light don't really hit too far out in front of you. So if you want to get in on the opponent, that's when side light comes in because it has a lot of range. As you can see, he's in the center stage. If I do it right here, uh, it's not going to hit, but it, it does bring me a lot closer to them than it will uh, than I will when I'm using neutral light or down light. And obviously if I dash with it, I'm going to hit him. So when you're trying to get in on the on the opponent, you want to use side light a lot because that's your longest range move. It also has the full body coverage. And it could also hit stacked in certain situations, like I said, but it's better used for uh, reaching farther opponents uh, across stage. Now I'm going to talk about the 50-50 of the sword. Uh, it's one of the only weapons that uh, really has 50-50 uh, like this, except for like uh, guitars and um, I would say spear, but I don't really think spear has too much of a 50-50. Its game plan is really uh, straightforward, but it's uh, since it's one of the fastest weapons, its 50-50 is used a lot, especially since uh, its down light can build up a lot of damage, and its neutral light is a really fast tool. Its 50-50 is probably one of the strongest in the games, and uh, what a 50-50 is Basically, what it means is if your opponent has no dodge, they can only make two options. There's a 50% chance uh, that you land the move, and there's a 50% chance that they get out of the move. Even though, uh, technically, this isn't really a 50-50, and I'll talk about why it's not technically a 50-50 later, but they only have two options or two choices that they can do when they get hit, and you basically have to guess if they're going to do one or the other, which is why it's 50-50. So basically how the 50-50 goes is you do a dashing side light. Um, the reason why you da have to dash with the side light is because of the neutral light nerf since it doesn't hit uh, that high up anymore. You have to dash with it in order to do the 50-50. Uh, before you could just do a side light and then do the regular 50-50, but because they nerfed the neutral light hitbox, um, if you don't dash with it then they can jump away and avoid the 50-50 entirely. So the way the 50-50 works is you do a dash side light, and after that you either do a neutral light or a down light, and each is used for different situations. If you think the opponent is going to try to jump out of the out of the attack after they get hit with the side light, if you think they're going to try to jump, then you do neutral light uh, because that is unjumpable. As you can see, they can't jump out of it. But if you think that they're going to stand there, or if the opponent just uh, takes the next hit uh, because they got hit already and they know they don't have a, a dodge, so they're just taking whatever hits they can after it, then you want to do a down light because that's going to build up uh, more of the damage. Uh, the end light option of the 50-50 can uh, hit both options uh, if the opponent chooses to stand there or if the opponent chooses to jump. The end light can hit both, uh, but there's a reason the down light option is is better or there's a reason why there's a down light option because it wouldn't be a 50-50 if uh, the neutral light could just uh, work on both sides even though it can but the down light is still an option for a specific reason. Yes you can play it safe and always do the neutral light and not risk them jumping over your down light you can always just when you hit a neutral uh, when you hit a side light just do your neutral light right after but if you want to go for some big damage then you can take the risk of doing the down light to get more damage or even get a kill if uh, if they're in that percentage 
So that's the basic 50-50 of the sword. So just to sum it up quickly, after you hit a dashing side light, you want to do neutral light or down light, depending on how the opponent reacts. If you know they jump, do a neutral light. If you know they don't jump after they get hit by that, then do a down light for a combo. Sword is one of the weapons that struggles to kill the most out of all the weapons. Uh, it doesn't really have that much force compared to the other weapons in the game, although it does have some moves that have um, pretty decent force. But like I said, it does have some trouble killing in certain situations. When they're in red health, and you need to land a killing blow, down light is uh, literally your only option. Even though neutral light can kill at some point, side light can kill at some point, and uh, other moves can kill, like a, just a stray side air can kill. But down light is probably the main option or the main thing you want to be trying to hit when they're in the red. Uh, instead of trying to just get a stray side air or a or a recovery, uh, you can kill them on the ground by comboing those moves uh, with a downlight. The easiest way for you to be able to do this is to look for openings uh, in your opponent's uh, gameplay, uh, where you can try to sneak in a downlight and combo it into a kill. However, just because they're in red health doesn't mean you can just keep throwing out the downlight move and hope that it hits because uh, it's really low. So if they're in red and you're just going like this over and over again, they're going to probably catch on and know to jump. So you don't really want to be throwing it out too much just because they're in the red. You want to kind of play around with it and try to make it as uh, surprising or unexpected as possible when you do land the downlight. Because you don't want them to, uh, when they're in the red, just instantly start jumping and staying in the air. Because then there's really nothing you can do about that except for try to land a, a stray recovery or a side air or something. Okay, so I'm going to go over uh, all of the combos that uh, Sword has. Um, all the true combos that it has, all the non-jumpable combos that it has, and all the combos that it has when you uh, when they don't have a dodge. So all the all the damage that you can rack up when they don't have a dodge, and all the damage you can rack up when they uh, when they do have a dodge uh, in the form of a true combo. final section of this uh, Secrets of Sword guide is the dodge reads. Even though Sword isn't known for being a dodge read weapon, uh, all weapons can have dodge reads, but Sword is not one of the ones that you need to really worry about reading dodges because of how quick it is and it uh, because of the 50-50. But uh, off of a neutral light starter, reading a dodge after that, uh, side light, like I said, will catch both in and out dodges, except for uh, any dodge that goes upwards. So if you know they're going to dodge inwards, wait a little bit, and then hit them with uh, with the 50-50 afterwards, after hitting the side light. But if they try to dodge away, uh, then you got to basically dash right after you hit the neutral light. Other than that, there's really no dodge reads necessary, uh, especially off a of down light. You don't need to read any dodges because you can just uh, combo right off of that. But if you want to read a dodge, you can just wait a little bit. Uh, and side light as well, it's not necessary to really get a dodge read off of because you do have the 50-50. But uh, it it can't help you read any outwards dodges because it does move you so far. Um, so the chances of you catching an outward dodge are pretty low. Um, but if you want to catch an inwards dodge, you can just do neutral light because it hits stacked or down light because it hits stacked. So that's pretty much it for this Secrets of Sword being unlocked into your brains. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully this does help. Uh, I'm going to try to make another one. I don't know what weapon yet, but 
If you want to know the secrets of Scythe, then you can go watch that video, it's still up on my channel. As well as my movement guide that I have on there, and as well as any of the other videos that I have on my channel uh, that you can just watch. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one.